Well, hi there, and welcome to the Shoe Rainer Droid Channel. And today I'm going to show you how to draw a Chinook. These enormous helicopters, but uh, let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Drawing a Chinook is not easy. Okay. <laughs> um, I want you to think of it as a box. Now I've done boxes. This is going to be a very long box. And it gets slightly wider towards the back as well. So it's a kind of box like this. It gets wider towards the back as well. So it kind of starts here and it gets wider. And then it goes, kicks back like that. Okay, so imagine you've got a center line running all the way down the top of the fuselage. And that's going to want to curve down. Um, Follow this kind of down like that and, and imagine that it's this kind of the box on the inside. So imagine it's just a, a, a silhouette that's been cut out that's kind of down the middle of the box and you're kind of building on top of that then. So this will then want to come smoothly round there. That will come and around there and up. Now you've got the engine, the top engine here, rotor blade thing. <laughs> so technical. The rotor blade thing, housing, engine housing thing. There's the blade. Rotor housing. How about that? That sounds better. Rotor housing is kind of up, up there. And then we've got a ridge running along the top of the roof there as well. Um, the back engine housing is really big. Um, it's really enormous actually <laughs> and it's kind of going up like that with a bit in the middle and then down in the back there um, now here we want to bring a curve coming around for the windows and like that and you've got kind of one two three then you've got this kind of door thing. <laughs> I'm getting so technical here. <laughs> um, this kind of, this is not a, a, a full scale kind of model of, you know, this is not a technical drawing thing here. So you, you've got these rotor blades coming here now. Now you want one coming out here. Is That's probably going off the page. I'm just going to move this so that it gets fits in more nicely within the whole thing now. The, that's kind of looking better. There we go. Um, their blades are enormous and when you're drawing helicopters you usually want to kind of get that feeling of um, of the blade you know, sweeping around, and it usually just kind of <laughs> disappears. But the um, Chinooks are so big that the blades are kind of going around quite slowly comparatively. Uh, which way is it? I'm having that going that right way, so that would be going kind of that way. Um, and then you want something similar going on on the top here. So you've got all this. Um, whatever it's called. <laughs> the stuff that the blades are held on with. Um, and at the top here, it's kind of slightly different angle. And this is going to be almost, you know, disappearing there, I think, because it's coming towards you. You've got all these weird different, um, what you, could, you know, perspective kind of things going on. Um, as well, so that'll be something like that. There we go. Now the body down here, you want to draw an extra little bit, it's a kind of pouch kind of thing that goes on the, that will then curve around there and go, it just kind of fades out really. Um, then we want these windows, just very <laughs> boring circular windows, one, two, three, four, Five. They're not evenly spaced out. You've got kind of more of a space down here. Um, we've got these great big um, engine things here. 
They kind of look like rocket motors actually, but I don't think they are. <laughs> uh, and you'll see a bit of that on the other side like that. Um, you're going to have the wheels, landing wheels kind of like that. You'll probably see a bit of that one. Uh, you have some funny little things sticking up. So there's this funny little setup. So I'm going to bring that more there. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to cross those out. Um, funny little things on the top here. These, I don't know, they're aerials or something. Lightning things. Um, and I'm going to wink it in now, see how it looks. Um, draw the things that are nearest to you, which I would say would be this blade here and put some whooshes on the end. Uh, the end of the blade is the thing that is travelling the fastest. So um, give that where the, the sort of whoosh is, like that. Um, and, and it's quite difficult getting this idea of foreshortening on the blades. It's not easy. Um, and this kind of bit helps to give the, the, the curve of the front of the fuselage. I'm going to draw that bit there because that's, again, that's kind of in front. And that will go there. And then this whole curve, curvature of the front is kind of suggested really by the shape of the glass in the windows and I think this is a door here I'm not sure and by that kind of gives you a feeling for the shape of it if that makes sense um, and then just curve that around like that just bring it in slightly. Uh, what's on top? Let's draw this part next. And we'll go to there. And this kind of exhaust bit here it really looks like a rocket motor. Um, now, what we've got, we've got another strange thing goes on in this kind of um, what did I call it? The, the engine housing. It's not the engine, the rotor blade assembly housing or something. <laughs> tower um, you've also got this kind of big air intake or something there it takes a bite out of um, the whole thing uh, and let's think about th let's do this one here first again that would be coming there with a whoosh 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 on the end did we put those up we did yeah and then draw the kind of the I know there are proper words for it, <laughs> but I can't think what they are. Uh, gimbals and things. Um, something like that. I mean, I'm just giving you a very kind of rough outline job of how to do this. Um, and we'll have something Funny little things like that. The other side of that, that'll be kind of like that. This has got a kind of a mesh on there, which will be like that. So do a kind of a curved cross hatching. Um, let's put a, a window there, and a window there. I miss that one. Window there, a window there. And then we have this rather strange little thing. It looks like a washing line or something. <laughs> stuck on the top there. I'm not sure what it's for, you know, hanging your clothes out there as dry as you're flying along. Um, and then I think we could put a line like that and then just a couple of kind of curves there to give a, a feeling for the, the curviness of this extra little bit on the side. Um, draw the wheels coming down like that. Oh, I have a bit more like that. And again, the wheels like that, and you maybe see wheels there a little bit. A uh, little hint of 
shading in there. Um, and then some cloud. Um, let me move it over a bit to like that. And then <laughs> my mate, oh, hair dry. I'm just going to make sure it's absolutely dry before I erase the pencil so that you can, oh, <laughs> so that you can see it like that. And I think I've just put some shading in all the way down these rotors just to give them a little bit of whew, and a bit more around there. Um, going all the way down like that. And then you can maybe put a bit of shading in underneath there and I think a little bit around there wouldn't hurt. And a bit like that. And then probably it would be quite dark underneath there. Um, so you could give that a bit of shading and a hint of the edge there, something on the windows, just like that. Um, tires. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. So there you go, how to draw a Chinook. <laughs> if you enjoyed that, keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. Make sure you're subscribed. <laughs> Take care now. Bye-bye.